Hi, how we doing? Here we are at WonderCon. I'm with Brian Polito, the creator of Evil Ernie and Lady Death, and um, also the owner of Chaos Comics, I would presume, huh? You and yes. you and Steven kind of? No, I'm the owner of Chaos Comics. Just, just you, and yes. Steven's just kind of your backup man, huh? Uh, Steven is the co-founder of the company, and the artist on Evil Ernie, Lady Death, and Detonator. Yeah, so we got a few titles. What, what all titles do we have with Chaos? The titles that we have with Chaos are our six uh, franchise characters are Evil Ernie, Lady Death, Chastity, Purgatory, Homicide, Suspira, and more to come. Lady Death, we're talking about a femme fatale here. Yes. You know, what, what, what promoted you in, in an industry that was predominantly, you know, male superheroes from some of these other companies? What kind of made you want to come out with a female? I, uh, Lady Death grew out of the need to give Evil Ernie motivation way back when. In that, I came up with this idea that behind every great man is a great woman. And so what I, right? <laughs> so what I chose to do was to make a great woman. And, you know, using things like uh, Vampira and Marilyn Monroe as a starting point, I think Lady Death grew. And then when we had finished Ernie, we simply committed to doing a Lady Death series. And when we did it, it worked out. I mean, what, <laughs> what happened in the first 48 hours? Oh, well, well I mean, the I book mean, actually... Well, the book just went ape. Yeah, it went from cover price to nine bucks. People really caught on to it. Yeah, quick. I mean, I went to go into the store to get it myself, and my distributor's all, I'm out of them, you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm all, what do you mean you're out of them? They just came in. <laughs> just, it connected very powerfully with people. Well, Evil Ernie, I started reading on that in the beginning, and, you know, yeah. of course, you, like you said, that was his motivation for killing people. Was Among other things. He wanted, his motivation was love, love. and she represented love. What a way to get love, huh? You bet. I love it, though. Yeah, right? It's twisted. I love it. So, um, anything um, coming up in the future for us here? You bet. In what department? Comics? Really? We, we got... Let, let's go with toys. Action figures. Is, is this something... I mean, not to say anything, but it seems like everybody's doing action figures now. Everybody's... Well, it seems like everybody's doing action figures. I'll put forward that we're doing our action figures very powerfully, charted out, very well planned. Uh, even before we announced last December we were doing it, we had already been nine months in production on what we were doing. Um, our action figure line, which is four characters, is very strong, featuring state-of-the-art sculpturing. Um, and, you know, if you've seen them or you take a shot of them, they're fantastic. Claiborne Moore is unequivocally the most talented sculptor in this industry. So there's the, the comics. That's a whole ball game, isn't it? Well, comics alone, we have the Lady Death Crucible storyline kicking into high gear with number four coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, unbeknownst to many people, we have we're tipping in a CD sampler of Megadeth in Lady Death: The Crucible Number Four. Did you hear that, people? Megadeth. Oh yeah, and Chaos Comics will be doing the uh, upcoming Megadeth comic series starting in August. And, and on the music line, I mean, we got comics, we got music too. It looks like we're we're becoming an entertainment company, That's and we a good are. Thing. So far, so good. How do you feel? How long has this taken you to to, to get to the point where you're at? How do I feel? I feel wonderful. Um, that was two questions, wasn't it? Yeah, I feel wonderful, and how long has it taken? Well, I'm 35 years old, so in a sense, the journey's been my entire life. I started focusing in on comics, dabbling, getting rejected from Marvel, etc. But then my first published comic came around in December 91. First Chaos comic came out in May of 93. So, I mean, it's been a, a, a long road, but a fun road. Yeah, I see you at the shows and stuff. You're full of energy. You're full of smiles. It's you're really glad to be here. Some of these people just don't want to be here. It seems. I think everybody wants to be here, but they forgot that they want to be here. That's so, insane. like all the BS of life got in the way. And you know, I I've been like that in my time too. But I just like dug it away because you know here I am living it. I tell you, you're doing a good job at Thank it. Thank you. I like this. I sound corny, but it's the fucking truth, <laughs> and no one can take it away from me.